It's me, Ozzy. And hey, you, yeah, you. If you're here because you want to be like your favorite VTuber, well, lucky for you, I'm here to help you every step of the way and make it as easy as possible to understand how. Making a lot of mistakes along the way, I feel like I can definitely teach you. Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Because, <laughs> you know, when I was starting off, uh, there was like very little information, so. From making a character and adding accessories like hats to capturing the movement and setting up OBS, this will be an entire guide to become a VTuber. So let's go. Oh, and the timestamps and download links for everything you need is in the description below. If this helped you in any way, I'd love to see your cute face and your cute creations over on my stream at twitch.com slash just Ozzy with two T's. Okay, so what is the first step then? It should be pretty obvious. It's having a model. It's what you're gonna be known for and an extension of yourself. So it's important you know this, but you can always make tweaks later. There's two main models that VTubers use. The first one is a VRM model, which are 3D models. You know, they're rendered in a 3D space. And there's also live 2D ones, which are semi 3D and use like Hololive or Live 2D, right? Both have their pros and cons, just depends on the style you're going for. I personally prefer VRM ones because they're way more customizable in my opinion. Just grab like a 3D item, slap it on, boom, you're ready to go. Now you have a cool hat. But Live 2D, you have to animate everything and it's a way more time consuming. And it also just depends on your personal preference. You know the look. So where do you get them? Well, I'm glad you asked, Billy. You can pay someone on Fiverr or you can pay me, you know, if you have money. So, you know, that's one option, but this is what I personally did and it's something you can do. You can make one yourself for free using V-Road Studios, also linked down below. B -b 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 how do I use V-Road Studio? Fear not, my child, I will guide you and show you some secret hacks to make this even easier. Even if you never designed anything, don't worry about it. I'm trash and look at me, here I am making a guide. So it's really easy, just trust me. So assuming you took this dark, treacherous path and have V-Roy downloaded and want to make your own, stick around, This is gonna, I'm gonna teach you how right now. There's four main tabs you need to focus on, which are the face, hair, body, and clothes editors. I will explain the basics of these, but if you want more in-depth explanations, I recommend these fine videos, they're fucking great, they helped me, but I'm just compiling everything into this video. So first, edit your body and face using the sliders, that's pretty easy, self-explanatory, right? On the right side, you got your sliders, and then on the left side, you got what you wanna edit, pretty easy. So you're gonna want to edit the face and the body of your character. And after it's done looking how you like and you get the basic shape of your character, I'm gonna show you how to change the skin color, the eyes, you know, add blushes, whatever, the easy way. So first you're gonna go to this site called booth.pm. Make an account because you will need one to download everything that's on that site. I know it's in Japanese, but Google Trends will carry you hard on this. So just look around for what you need, whether it's, uh, I don't know, clothes, eyes, skin, tones, whatever. It's, it's A lot of stuff is free. Some stuff costs money, of course, but don't worry, you know, they accept PayPal. And most of the stuff is really inexpensive too. But you, again, you don't need to pay for anything. I found a lot of the stuff I use for free. So as you can see here, I downloaded some eyes, clothes, and even hair packs. Here's how you install them for your character. Keep in mind they're different, so that's why I'm teaching you for each different category. Depending on what you want to change, for example, the eyes, you go to the face tab, right, where it says phase, and then you go to texture, and then all the way at the bottom, or not all the way at the bottom, go where it says irises, add a new layer, then right click on it and press import. And then all you have to do is get the file you downloaded and then import it, right? You just change it. Basically, that's it. Boom, easy. Now you have different eye colors and you can do this for the skin colors or underwear, whatever, it doesn't matter. So for the, that's just for the texture part, right? You can repeat that for different textures of the whole model. Now the clothes is slightly different, so make sure you pay attention in the description of the item you downloaded because it will sometimes tell you what item you need to modify and other times you just have to take wild guesses. It took me sometimes forever to get uh, to get the clothes looking how I wanted it to, so it's just a game of guess, right? Unless it tells you in the description. Okay, so now that you have everything you wanted done, you know, the eyes, the skin, the clothes, whatever, let's do the hair. Uh, you can freeform this, but honestly, it's a pain in the ass and really hard. You can find tutorials, but like it would take you forever, so you can just slap a preset that's what I did and assuming that's what you want to do and that's what you downloaded I'm gonna show you how to install the presets because it, it is a little bit tricky so what you're gonna want to do is press the Windows key and type app data it should look something like this and then after you type that type this I will leave it in the description you copy paste it boom easy and then it will open up a folder and it's called V-Road Studio all right now head where it says hair preset and then drag and drop the preset you downloaded and it should now appear under the hair presets. Easy, right? You can change the color, the shade, 
to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Now, if you want to add in accessories, like let's say ears, headphones, or hats, I'm going to show you that right after this. So now that you're happy with your model, you can go ahead and export it to, with the default settings. They're more than good enough. Don't worry. Just head over to the export tab, click export, change the name and put all the information that applies to you. Boom. Ready to go. Easy. OK, so, hey, you want to add accessories, right? Like hats, ears or whatever. Really, if you don't, you can skip around. OK, there's two main methods to do this, right? If you want to add another uh, accessory per se. The first one I'll be showing you is by using Unity. The second one is Blender. And there's a fantastic tutorial out there. Look, I'm linking you this one, this one right here. You see, that's a fantastic tutorial if you want to use Blender. Me personally, I like Unity. It seems hard, but I will guide you and make this super easy to understand. It is a little bit tedious. There's a lot of steps involved, but don't worry. It's really easy if you follow this guide. Okay, so if you are choosing Unity, which is the one I recommended, you're going to need obviously Unity and something called UniVRM. I left the download link in the description. Of course, you just everything you need is down there. You also need a 3D accessory. Of course, you know, what do you want to add a hat? OK, in this case, I chose a hat. Preferably, it should be an .obj file or .fbx file so it's supported. OK, so now open up Unity. Boom, create a new project, name it, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then now what you're going to do is drag and drop the UniVRM into the assets page like that. This is going to be a lot of drag and dropping, by the way. So after that's done, drag and drop your model and then the accessory you want, right? If you want the color to be added, which you should, right click, add new material, and assign the M2 shader to it. To apply, all you have to do is click on the object and assign the material. You can find this in the tab called materials. OK, sick, you're doing great. See, easy. Now go ahead and drag and drop the VRM file into the hierarchy shown like this. I'm showing you, see? Now pay attention to which accessory you chose, depending on what kind. Depending on what kind it is, this may vary. But since mine is a hat, I will find the head bone and then assign it to that, right? So we're going to find the head bone, drag and drop the accessory to the head bone. And then if you chose, I don't know, like a cape, you would do that. But for the back, easy like that. So now it's actually fixed to where I want it. After that's done, all you have to do is adjust the size and the position of the accessory. You know, this may vary on what you have. Use the Unity tools. It's really not that hard. It's very easy until it's looking like how you want it. See, easy. Now you're done with the hard part. All you have to do is export it. Click on the model in the hierarchy, go to the inspector tab, select overrides and apply for all. Finally, all you have to do is click the VRM tab, select export, then you're done. Now your character has cool ass accessories, right? OK, you have a model. All right. You have your model. It's finished. You're happy. Now what? Well, now you need a way to capture the movements, right? Whether it's lips, head, whatever, and bring your character into life. So there's basically two programs I recommend, and both of them, of course, are free. So let's go. The first one is called Magic Mirror. Another one is called VC Face. They can both track your face and sync your audio with your microphone. And both are more than good enough, depending on what you need. For example, if you need to play a game with a controller, boom, Magic Mirror can have it show a virtual controller and mirror the input of your actual controller. So it's actually really cool. But I think VC face is also really cool. Like, for example, you can capture hand movements if you have an ultra leap. So this is really cool for those people that actually do have an ultra leap. You know, they can track their hands. And it's really easy too. And in my opinion, this tracks your face a whole lot better. Also your emotions. So that's why I personally use it over Magic Mirror. But as I mentioned, both are more than capable depending on what you need. Both of these programs are also basically set up the same way. You open them, choose a language, import your model. Make sure you configure the camera and mic input. Otherwise, you're not going to track anything. If you want to capture them on OBS like this, fear not. I will show you how later. And there is more in-depth guides on both programs here. But they're pretty self-explanatory and both are in English for the most part. So don't worry, it's pretty easy. Now, the big final step is to set up OBS, which is the easiest, whether it's Streamlabs or OBS Live. Now, I personally like OBS Live because it's more customizable. It has way more options, but again, that's just personal preference. But this is the same process for Stream Elements. First, let's set up VC Face and then Magic Mirror. So open up your streaming software and then go to Source, Add New Source, Choose gaming and then select VC face. Now pay attention, make sure you click where it says allow transparency and then okay. Now to crop, all you have to do is hold the alt key and crop to the size you want. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done, easy son. Now if you're using Magic Mirror, make sure you have the green screen background so you can remove it later, right? Cool. So like before, open up your capture software, add source, select gaming source and add it. 
Now right click on it, press filters, add the filter called chroma key and select green screen and just mess around with the dials if you need to make sure everything looks the way you want. And then like that, easy. Now you're capturing them both in OBS and it wasn't even that hard, see? And just like that, the guide is finished. I hope this helped you. Now go be more famous than me, please. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help you. So just leave a comment or message me on Twitter again as J U S two T's and an O Z I. Also check out my Twitch. I stream there basically every day. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye bye.